Here's how to create epic sci-fi action shots using the power of the new Kling 2.5 Turbo. I'll also show you how to use the latest AI lip sync tools to control exactly when your characters speak in your videos. To show you how powerful these new AI features are, I created a short film about four space explorers made with the exact same AI tools and techniques I'll be showing you today and add lip sync to all of them in one single video. But before I show you how to do this and how I made the action shots using Kling 2.5, I want to show you how to place your character's voice right at the most powerful moment in your video. And I will do this with the new image and video lip sync tool on a platform called Design AI. Here I can also use all my favorite AI image and video models under one subscription. So in here I'm going to click on the lip sync tool and I will set the generation mode to pro for better movement and clarity. Now you can upload an image or a video. So I'll start by uploading a video in here. You can create amazing results by uploading dynamic videos. And these next two examples were made with Clean 2.5. And this is so great because now I can control the exact camera movement that I want and then add the lip sync exactly where I need it. I've already uploaded my Dutch angle video made with the new Kling 2.5 model and I'll explain how I created that shot later in the video. I also uploaded my audio file and I'm placing it at the end of the clip where the Dutch angle reaches its peak for the most dramatic result. Later in the video I'll show you how to add audio but first let's look at the Dutch angle shot. Okay, that would explain a few hours, but you were 12 hours late. One thing to note is that you can also make this by uploading an image, and there are a few differences. Let's check both examples. Okay, that would explain a few hours, but you were 12 hours late. When we use an image, we get more character movement and expression, but the overall shot feels more static. When we upload a video, the scene looks more dynamic and we have full control, though the character might move a bit less. So choose what works best for each shot and the kind of control you want. So now let's see how I created the Dutch angle shot. And I used this character for that with this prompt. So pause the video if you want to fully read it. And then in Nano Banana, I used these two input images with the following prompt. A close-up shot from the high commander who looks fiercely and shows wisdom and power. He is standing in front at cold light from above and in the AI video tab on design with the Kling 2.5 model selected. You can see I already uploaded my image in here. I added my prompt in here and then I left the imagination in the middle. I didn't add the sound effects, but I chose 10 seconds and hit generate. On the right side, I used the prompt camera slowly zooms in and rotates clockwise into a Dutch angle tension shot to 35 degrees to get the classic Dutch angle rotation shot. On the left side, I used Camera slowly rotates clockwise into a Dutch angle tension shot to 25 degrees, pushing in from medium shot to close up shot. And I think I even like this shot on the left more, it feels more dynamic. And as you can see here that the original video from Kling 2.5 was 1080p, but the lip sync video turned it back to 720p again. That's why I'm in the upscale tab here in design and I've got already uploaded my video and now I'm going to upscale it to 1080p to get that result again. You can also go to 4K or 8K, but for this project, 1080p is good enough. Now let's dive into the action shots. First, I'll show you the incredible camera moves you can make with Kling 2.5 Turbo. Then I'll show you how I created the space action scenes with my four consistent characters. To create amazing camera moves with Kling 2.5, you need to start with a strong base image. For that, I used this prompt. A cinematic shot of a futuristic starfighter flying through a sci-fi battlefield viewed from the front in a cinematic outer space chase scene flying through explosions and debris. And then I added some more style keywords. And then with image to video with Kling 2.5, I used the prompt, the camera follows the spacecraft flying through a space battle. Then the spacecraft navigates through the scene, sci-fi film, muted colors, cinematic film, dynamic motion. As you can see, there aren't any complicated camera prompt techniques in here. From all my testing, I found it works best to simply describe the action you want the spacecraft to make. That's how I got the best results. I also tested different imagination values with this slider here. Each run and setting gives a new result, so you can pick the one that looks best. With 0.2 I got this result. And with 0.5 I got this result.
I am very impressed with the quality of these shots. With the latest advancements, this level of consistency is now possible. The spacecraft stays perfectly stable throughout the whole shot and the action looks smooth and dynamic with the ideal amount of motion blur. So let's move on to adding my four characters into a spacecraft. And for this, all four characters had to match perfectly. And now with the latest AI tools, you can seamlessly blend your characters into any scene. All it takes is four character images and a few short prompts. And in this video on my Lenny Blonde channel, I show exactly how I created the four characters, made sure they fit together with one color palette and blended them seamlessly into any scene using Nano Banana. And in this video, I also explained how I created this spaceship. Then in Nano Banana, I used this as input image one and this as input image two with the prompt close-up shot of the four characters sitting in their pilot seats in a row of two seen through the window of the spaceship of image two. Then I got this image and with Kling, I created this video without adding a prompt. This can sometimes give amazing results and I recommend trying it since the AI often use the input image data to create something great. Later in the video, I'll use this clip to add four character lip sync, but first let's move on to the space chase action shot. Then I used this base image with Nano Banana to create this shot. In the video on the Lenny Blonde channel, I'll explain in detail how to do this. Then with Kling 2.5, I used the prompt, the camera follows the spacecraft flying through a space battle, then turns around trying to escape the other spacecraft. The spacecraft then navigates through asteroids. Then I also added some style keywords and Kling 2.5 also added some incredible sound effects that really brings the scene to life. I really love the sound effects and how my four characters stay consistent inside the spacecraft. Let's move on to the next action scenes. For this image, I used the same image to video technique as before by just describing the action I wanted the spaceship to make. Here's the prompt I used. Camera follows the ships flying away from the planet and then the ships vanish into space. And then I got this amazing result. And I really like how the camera made this sort of panning orbiting move. And it just looks great and the sound effects really add something to it as well. So for the spacecraft to fly into the mothership, I used the following prompt. The spacecraft makes a turn and then lands into the mothership, while the camera follows the spacecraft from behind as the spacecraft stops on the landing plane. And then I got this amazing result. And I really like it that Kling 2.5 listens so well to my prompt instructions. Now let's add lip sync to our four characters. You can do this using either an input image or a video. It works the same way. I'll use an image for this example and at the end I'll show both results. Now I will select all my characters and then I will select next. Now you can create up to 30 second lip sync videos. And for the first character, which is me as the captain, I'm going to upload my own audio file. So I'm going to click here and now I'm going to click the upload audio button and I will drag my audio in here. You can also add voices with text to speech directly inside the lip sync tool. Pick from a wide range of characters, choose from nine languages and even add extra text for the same character to create a dialogue. I explain this all step by step in the other video. Once all these steps are done, we can preview it and we can tweak it accordingly to match it correctly. And I really like this flexibility to put the audio files exactly where I want. Now the only thing left to do is hit generate. And then we got this final result. We ran into some navigation issues. Our route didn't go as planned. Yeah, not so great. I told them this would happen. Let's just say we got a little lost. I love how this lip sync tool adds real emotion and body movements to the characters. It even adds motion to the full shot, making it look much more realistic. Now let's look at the results from the input video. Did anyone actually check the coordinates? I thought you did. We're lost again, huh? Confirmed. Probability of survival, hilarious. I like how this turned out, but because the characters are a bit far away, the lip sync isn't 100% perfect. So my advice is to use shots where the characters' faces are closer to the camera and more visible when using four character lip sync. You can find the links for Kling 2.5 and Design's lip sync tool in the description below. 
And if you want to create characters that fit together and blend smoothly into any scene, then make sure to watch this video.